Mr. Strongfolk. Dr. Dar. It's lovely to hear from you. I trust Atlas is fully operational again? Alive and ticking, all thanks to you. Are you hearing a ticking sound? Is that coming from you or me? Where is that coming from? Is it a bomb? Corporate sabotage! I knew this day would come! Could you give me a moment? <laughs> What did you do? Are you accusing me, your beloved brother, of nefarious behavior like using a fake ticking sound app against the boss that fired you? Really? I'm hurt. Just fix it. Fine. <sighs> there. Thank you for holding. Their plot was foiled. Uh-huh. Um, now, where were we? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Mr. Strongfork, on a scale of one to ten, how pleased were you with the services our company provided to Atlas? Well, I gotta tell you, I was skeptical when you first pitched it to me. I mean, <laughs> sounds ridiculous, right? A consulting company whose mission is to heal corporations from the inside out? What does that even mean, you know? But I figured I owed you for... Saving all the lives in Promethea, killing Susan Coldwell, saving your company from the clutches of a hostile TDR takeover after you fired her? Yeah, for that. Anyway, you three. Uh, we four. Thanks to the aforementioned three who scrounged tirelessly amidst the rubble for my parts and... Yeah, sure. Excellent story. Loved it the first three times I heard it. Anyway, you four really changed Atlas for the better. Thanks to your skateboard scoring system, employee morale is through the roof. We're more productive than ever. And you can let people have bad ideas without firing them. Turns out happy employees are good for business. <laughs> Who knew? We did. That's why you hired us. Anyway, that's all well and fine, but we're gonna need a number, Strong Fork. Solid eight out of 10 from me. Eight. That's an 80%. That's an 20% and perfect. I think an 8 out of 10 is generous, all things considered. I mean, let's review, shall we? Before you left Atlas, you sent my favorite possession and my favorite assistant on vacation. Yeah, but then we risked our lives to get into that vault for you. You did, yeah, you did do that, but not for me. You all decided to keep the shard, the Anahadium, for yourselves. Didn't stop to consider, you know, as an example, how much time or how many resources I poured into getting that vault. Didn't think to call me so I could tell you about Anahadium, like that I knew it's called Anahadium, or <laughs> how about when you found out Susan Coldwell already had her own shard? Didn't stop to wonder how she got it or where it came from? No, no, you didn't. So you're mad we didn't call you? Yeah, a bit. I had a lot of personal investment tied up in that shard, and now it's gone. All the Anahadium's gone. Just poof. Poof? Poof. Nothing but cosmic dust floating through the ether. <sighs> Maybe this is all for the best. For whom is it the best, exactly? All of us. I'm not... I'm not following. We stopped fighting over the shard. Now that it's gone, there's a little less violence, a little less death around us. In a way, maybe having the shard lost in space accomplished its mission. Which makes it perfect for us to chase. No one else is going after it. I'm... I'm hanging up now. Think about it. Hanging up. Did he submit his yell rating? Yep. And did the check clear? Yes. You know what this means. Galactic Healing Inc. is open for business! G-H-I. Gee. Mm. Gee. Gee? I am too. I'm not sorry for shit. That's work.
join me for tonight's episode of Often Around. In which I, your beloved host and Promethean Tarly, take you behind the counter of Meridian City's favorite mobile eatery and finally answer the question, what's the secret in the sauce? Trust me, folks, you won't want to miss this one. Looks like your brother's about to inspire a whole new generation of taco connoisseurs tonight. Uh, let's just make sure he never reveals the secret of the dairy of Franz Frobert, huh? Never. <laughs> so, what brings you in, lady? I thought you'd be long gone by now. Oh, uh, just headed to the station now, but thought I'd stop by for... one last cup of water b before I head out. Anu, are you gonna miss me? It wasn't so long ago that I couldn't wait to get off this planet. But now, now it's really hard. Ah, don't be silly. Living amidst the Jabbas on Eden 6, studying their intricate social structures. It's a chance of a lifetime. <laughs> I've never heard of anything better suited to you my whole life. But what if I don't like it? Uh, what if my assistants are really boring and only want to talk about work? What if I run out of supplies and have to turn to cannibalism? Fran, what if I panic? You won't. Well, if you do, you'll figure it out. You know why? Why? Because you're good at what you do. You are an amazing scientist. And if anybody says or makes you feel otherwise, oh, you send them my way. I'll give them <clears throat> one on the house. Thanks, Fran. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get out of here before you miss your train and, and I miss the next episode of Octon Around. See you around the holidays. We'll be here. This is PNN. Promethea, one year later. Today is a somber day for Meridian City as we reflect on the destruction done by the TDOR Corporation. Though Susan Coldwell's death was confirmed, details surrounding the crash landing of her ship remain a mystery. Famous entrepreneur turned conspiracy theorist, Bivington Bradwick claims Promethea was saved by, get a load of this, a healing spirit. He even claims the explosion shot remnants of the spirit into the sky, leaving a green cosmic trail. <laughs> healing spirit? Green cosmic trail? Okay, Bivington, I think someone's done one too many hits from the Belcher. Most citizens, however, have opted to get on with the most important business there is, the business of living. That's all for tonight, Meridian City. Coming up next on Primetime, it's Octin Around. I'm sorry. I am too. I'm not sorry for shit. Whatever that's worth. You got your extra cups and spoons, your cleaning supplies, oh, the list of customers who are banned. Ah. The cuckoo coconut lever gets jammed, so you really gotta yank on it before you can... I know. It's all good. Yeah. It's all good. Well, 
I officially retire. You are hereby the new owner of Franz Frogert. You mean Octavio's yogurt? Octavio's yogurt? Yeah. Hey, if I run into any trouble, will you uh, be around? Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm a petit poo, poo I am cashing in my chips, and I'm going on a long vacation. Like a not-coming-back vacation. Where? Ah. Mundus Dongus. It's a nudist colony planet on Sector 8. Ah, where's my travel buddy? Free labor. Oh, he makes me laugh, but he also makes me moan. Mm. Come on, buddy. Don't be sad. Just do the cycle shuffle. Do the cycle shuffle. Look, I may be across the galaxy without an Echodex, but you know she's always watching out for you. Yeah. Always did. That was her thing. Well, we better hit the stars before all the good dom suits and foam ramps are taken. Free labor. H hey, friend. Yeah. Make sure you use protection. What? You don't know what's out there. <laughs> your sense of humor, kid. Loosen up and have fun. You are the CEO of your own business. This is PNN. Promethea, one year later. Today is a somber day for Meridian City as we reflect on the destruction done by the TDOR Corporation. Though Susan Coldwell's death was confirmed, details surrounding the crash landing of her ship remain a mystery. Famous entrepreneur turned conspiracy theorist Bivington Bradwick claims Promethea was saved by, get a load of this, a healing spirit. He even claims the explosion shot remnants of the spirit into the sky, leaving a green cosmic trail. <laughs> Healing spirit? Green cosmic trail? Okay, Bivington, I think someone's done one too many hits from the Belcher. Most citizens, however, have opted to get on with the most important business there is, the business of living. Coming up. We preview the latest romantic comedy starring eight Saurians. Critics call it baffling and not fun. Well, CEO of my own company. Guess I made it, huh? Oh, <laughs> no, we are not co-CEOs. You can be VP. Okay, okay, senior VP. Why do you have to be such a nerd about this? I don't even know what a stock option is. Can we circle back to this? I literally just got the keys. I'm not ready to make that sort of decision right now. NFTs though, dirty tacos. Been thinking about this for like minutes. Brownies freezes are frozen, the freezes are frozen, they're the frozenest freezes around. 
20% of all sales go to water sanitation. Our first commercial. If you rebuild it and rebrand it, they will come. Nothing to do now but wait. Hey, you ladies open or what? Are we open? It sort of depends on the person. For you, yes. Well, the unlit open sign in the window communicates otherwise. Come on in! They're open! <sighs> that was a rush! I told ya. Slinging frozen treats ain't for the weak, doll. Good thing I've been working out. Ow! <laughs> you ready to head out? Yep. Just one second. This is PNN. Promethea, one year later. Today is a somber day for Meridian City as we reflect on the destruction done by the TDOR Corporation. Though Susan Coldwell's death was confirmed, details surrounding the crash landing of her ship remain a mystery. Famous entrepreneur turned conspiracy theorist, Bivington Bradwick claims Promethea was saved by, get a load of this, a healing spirit. He even claims the explosion shot remnants of the spirit into the sky, leaving a green cosmic trail. <laughs> healing spirit? Green cosmic trail? Okay, Bivington, I think someone's done one too many hits from the Belcher. Most citizens, however, have opted to get on with the most important business there is, the business of living. Coming up, can you eat a sandwich made of garbage? The answer won't surprise you. I miss you as much today as I did a year ago. You being gone doesn't get any easier. I miss you so much, Octavia. We all do, hon. You were the best of us. Octava Doe. What now? A tribute flavor to Octavio. Octava Doe! Ha! Ah, all the proceeds can go to the young failing entrepreneurs of Prometheus Society. Oh, I love that. What's the dough in the dessert, though? Tacos. Oh. Hint of chocolate, a little bit of cinnamon. You know, work the whole mole vibe. Yeah, yeah, I see. Whatever that's worth. Well, you can tell Barney that he can go screw himself. They can't commit to paying a 10 session package. They're not going to see any progress. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, want to hear my counter offer? 
I slit his throat with a plasma knife and he bleeds like a rat in the sand. That's him bleeding out! How was that? Perfect! Really? Totally! You got personal, answered questions with questions, and you got louder the more you talked. I imagined them naked too. Not necessary, but great. <laughs> <sighs> Keep this up and Octavio Anu Sibling Consulting will be the number one company for all sibling relationship therapy in the Northeast Meridian City area. Well, you can tell Barney that he can go screw himself! The cat commit to paying a 10 session package, they're not gonna see any progress. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, want to hear my counter offer? I slit his throat with a plasma knife and he bleeds like a rat in the sand! That's him bleeding out! How was that? Perfect! Really? Totally! You got personal, answered questions with questions, and you got louder the more you talked. I imagined them naked too. Not necessary, but great. <laughs> <sighs> Keep this up and Octavio Anu Sibling Consulting will be the number one company for all sibling relationship therapy in the Northeast Meridian City area. It's actually Anu Octavio Sibling Consulting. <laughs> That's a mistake on the sign. We're getting it reprinted. And no, we're not. Anu Octavio just doesn't roll off the tongue. Are you serious? We're almost out of day night. Are we going or what? Changing the subject. Very clever. This is PNN. Promethea, one year later. Today is a somber day for Meridian City as we reflect on the destruction done by the TDOR Corporation. Though Susan Coldwell's death was confirmed, details surrounding the crash landing of her ship remain a mystery. Famous entrepreneur turned conspiracy theorist, Bivington Bradwick claims Promethea was saved by, get a load of this, a healing spirit. He even claims the explosion shot remnants of the spirit into the sky, leaving a green cosmic trail. <laughs> healing spirit? Green cosmic trail? Okay, Bivington, I think someone's done one too many hits from the Belcher. Most citizens, however, have opted to get on with the most important business there is, the business of living. Feels quiet without her around. Yeah, it's great. Grating, the silence. It's just so silent that it's loud and grating on the ears. You know what I mean? Yeah. Really weird how Will insisted that unpaid sexy intern join her in the afterlife though. May heaven be one big orgy. One big sweaty orgy. It was all your fault. I'm gonna haunt your ass forever.
Your ass is super haunted. Okay, that's just tasteless. True, but Fran would have loved it. She's right. I love it. Come here. Give me my Agodex! Hey! No! Violence! It's wrong to steal, remember? Your face is wrong. We're going to the same place.